everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, very welcome. My name is Yeva, and today I want to share with you a whole body flow that will include movements that I do myself very often in my own practice. And also if you're celebrating, I would really like to wish you a very cozy holidays and also a beautiful year ahead. So a beautiful 2023 filled with adventures, exploration, yoga, climbing, connections and, and wholesome experiences. So without further ado, let's get started in a tabletop position. So put your hands underneath your shoulders. You can spread the fingers wide. Knees can be underneath your hips. We will do a few cat and cows. So gently arching your back and then rounding your spine. When you round your spine, your chin can go towards your chest. Really round the spine, push the ground away from you. And let's continue a few rounds like that. And over here, try to harmonize the movement with the breath. So for example, with your inhalation, you can arch your back gently. With your exhalation, round your back. And continue. So over here, arriving back to the body, arriving back to the breath, to this moment. Let's do one more cycle, cycle of breath. Once you're finished with that, come back into the neutral spine. So your spine is long. Let's extend the right leg back behind you and left arm in front of you. So opposite arm with the opposite leg. Inhale, lengthen. Over here, imagine that two people are gently pulling you both directions. And then on your exhalation, you touch the left elbow with your right knee, round the spine. Inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, touch. Few more. Then bend your right leg, right knee, same level as your right hip. With the left arm, we want to reach towards your right foot. With the left arm, we reach the right foot. First, don't catch it yet. Just go the direction towards it. So left arm goes back, maybe just touching. And over here, we try to use the muscles of the right leg. So right hamstrings working. We lift the right knee up. Right leg is bent, trying to go towards our, our foot and the hand to touch. Breathe, stay here, inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand, lower the right knee. Other side, inhale, extend the left leg, right arm. Lengthen first, and then on your exhalation to touch. And continue like that. Again, imagining that two people are pulling you both directions, so really lengthening your left leg, your right arm. And then when you exhale, you round the spine, right elbow touches the left knee. One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale to touch, and then bend the left leg, lift the left knee, same level as your left hip, and right arm reaches back again, just to touch, so not grabbing yet, just touching, and then at the same time, lifting the left knee, left glute is engaged, trying to balance, breathing, check if you're not holding your breath if you're breathing. Take an inhalation, exhale, one more inhale, exhale, last one, inhale. Exhalation, lower the right hand, left knee down. Let's meet in a puppy pose, extend the 
arms in front of you, lower the elbows down. Your hips can stay in line with your knees. And then imagine you're stretching your armpits, maybe lowering your forehead down. Or over here, if you know that you are very flexible in this area, you can stay on your fingertips. Arms are extending, so to keep this pose more active. So active pose, active puppy pose, instead of a passive one. So you decide which one you choose today. If you are in a passive puppy pose, imagine that you are almost like melting your chest down towards the ground, stretching the armpits, and also continuing to breathe. So not holding your breath. One more breath wherever you are. And then sitting back, behind you into the kneeling position, rolling your shoulders up, back and down a few times, and then interlace your fingers behind you. Shoulder blades together, you can gently move your head, so one ear towards the shoulder, then dropping the chin down, going to the other side. So almost you're doing these half circles with your head. Being very gentle over here, not forcing. Next time your, ch your chin drops towards your chest, stay here for a moment. And then lift your head up. Once again, push the chest forward, fingers are interlaced behind you, chest is open, breath in through the nose. And then let go of your hands, let's meet in the squat position. So tuck your toes under and meeting in the squat position. So let's stay in a squat position for a little bit, we can explore the stillness. Or if you'd like to add some movement, maybe touch one of your knees down, twist as if you want to look back and then come back into the squat. Other side, the other knee touches the ground, you push the hip forward, twist, you want to look back. Back into the center, let's do one more time both sides. Come back into the center. Now let's meet in the forward fold. So start to straighten your legs. Hands can be in the air, just dangling or on the ground, whatever is more comfortable for you. And then a few times we bend back into the squat and then back into the forward fold. In the forward fold, really allow your head to be very heavy and relaxed. So your chin is going towards your chest and your head is just dangling there in space. A few more times like that, you bend into the squat and extend the legs. And continue. Next time you are in a forward fold, let's stay here for a moment. Perhaps first bend your knees slightly and then with your hands start to walk into the front of your yoga mat as if we want to meet into the plank pose. Stay in the plank pose and then we walk back. Fingers spreading wide, coming back into the forward fold to the back of the yoga mat. And then again, walking forward with your hands into the plank pose. Straight line of the body, coming back into the forward fold, legs straight or slightly bent. One more time. So few different options, walking with the whole palm down or maybe it's more comfortable walking on your fingertips. Slightly harder as well. So you decide which one feels better for you today. 
And last time, walking to the plank pose. Let's stay in the plank pose. Maybe feet together. And over here, let's add a little bit of movement. So as if you're with your body, you want to, you want to move forward and back and your hand stays where we are, your palms. Forward, back. Check your breath, check if you're breathing. Take an inhalation and exhale, lower the knees down. Let's meet in a child's pose for a moment. Extend the arms in front of you. If you'd like to keep an active child's pose, stay on the fingertips. Really lengthening your, your spine, lengthening the arms. So you're doing very well. So nice that you are showing up today for this practice. Thank you for being here. Take a breath in through the nose. And then we meet in the downward looking dog. So start to lift your hips up towards the sky, stretching your armpits, and then lift the right leg up towards the sky, bend the right knee. Let's make circles with your right knee as if you want to draw the circles and the movement comes from the right hip joint. So drawing these big as big as zeros with your right knee. Last big circle. Extend the right leg up, right foot into the front of the yoga mat. High lunge, lift the arms up towards the sky and then bend the arms on your exhalation, shoulder blades together. Inhale, one more time, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Let's do a few more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Let's open up into the warrior two. Extend the arms, shooting to the sides. Inhale. First, with the right arm, we want to go into the front as if we want to reach something. And then reverse warrior, lift the right arm up and back. Left arm, left hand can go behind you to touch your right hip. And we stay in the reverse warrior. Hey, Lupi. Papas. Breathe over here. Take an inhalation. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Come back into the center, extend the arms and now extend the front leg as well. Shorten your stance for a little bit. And then again, we want to reach something in front and then triangle pose, right hand goes onto your shin or just in the air. And then we lift the left arm up. You can look down, you can look to the side, you can look up wherever it's comfortable. Take an inhalation, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, on the exhalation, shuffle your hands forward, let's meet in the plank pose, lower the knees down, lower the whole body down, and then lift yourself up, so maybe lifting yourself high up, or maybe having a little back bend. So you decide whichever feels best for you now in this moment. Take an inhalation, exhale, downward looking dog. Now lift your left leg up towards the sky, bend the left knee. And let's start to make circles with your left knee. So drawing these big zeros. Imaginary zeros. Over here again, the movement comes from the hip joint. So 
so controlled circles let's do two more extend the left leg left foot into the front of the yoga mat high lunge lift the arms up towards the sky and then when you exhale you bend the arms shoulder blades together chest is open and continue like that once again harmonizing the movement with your breath One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale to touch. And now open up into a, the warrior two. Arms shooting to the sides, inhale, exhale. Imagine you want to reach something in front of you. So with the left arm, you go forward and then back reverse warrior. Left hand, left arm goes back. Right hand can go towards your left hip. So we help to open up the chest. Breathing over here, doing very well. One more breath. Then come back into the center, extend the arms and extend the left leg. Perhaps first shorten your stance and then triangle pose, move the left arm forward, left hand down onto the shin or in the air on the ground, whatever feels nice for you. And with inhalation, lift the right arm up towards the sky. Check your breath, check if you're breathing. So same as with climbing, we try not to hold the breath, but to breathe, breathe calmly through, through the nose and to let our nervous system know that we are safe in this moment. We choose to be here. One more breath in the triangle pose. And lower your hands down, plank pose. And then we lower our whole body down. Inhale, lifting yourself up into a little backbend or a bigger backbend, whichever feels nice for you now. So one is not better than the other. Sometimes we want to do something less, something more. And the most important is just to listen what serves us today in this moment. Take an inhalation. Exhale, child's pose. Sit back behind you. So passive child's pose or active. You decide. Continuing to breathe and over here, really explore the sensation of inhalation. So of your whole lungs expanding all directions. So as if your lungs expanding 360 degrees, your ribs expanding both in the front and in the back as well. One more breath in, inhale, exhale. With the help of your hands, come into the kneeling position and lower your left fingertips down. Inhale, the right arm reaches up, side bend to the left side. Come back into the center, right fingertips on the right side. Inhale, left arm reaches up. Side bend to the right. And 
Come back into the center, let's do a spine twist. So twisting to one side. Twisting to the other. Come back into the center and now with your fingertips, my favorite rain massage. So imagine that with your fingertips, you're gently tapping your head. And over here, you want to tap or cover every part of your head, of your scalp, the top of your neck, the temples, your forehead. One more breath while you're doing so. And then exhale, lower your hands down. Okay, so we are finished with today's practice. So it's the last practice of 2022. So thank you so much for being here today with me. And thank you so much for being with me in the year of 2022 and for practicing together and for supporting my channel. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and press a thumbs up down below. Share the session with your friends. Or if you want to support me financially, you can buy me a coffee down below. I will put a link down in the description below. Also, I'm running two yoga retreats in the springtime in 2023. One in Lithuania and the other one in south of Spain in El Toro. It would be beautiful to meet you in real life. So check that information again down in the description below. So continue moving, continue exploring the body, continue practicing your practice. And I will see you or you will see me next time for another session.